Hello guys, so I'm now at the house and we have all these pallets here as you can see outside too there they are from like isolation and the bricks and stuff and I thought I can make a table from them yesterday I tried some stuff but it didn't work because these planks are really thin and they just break every time I try to take the nails out but I discovered today that we have two types of uh, pellets in here and I found ones that are really good as you can see these ones are a bit thicker and they are better, they don't break that easily. This was my first idea to just cut it in half and then like intertwine it. But I didn't want my table to look like this, I want it to be like all straight lines. Today I took the nails from five pallets, but I still need four of them because I want to make a table of three meters and the pallet is like 8.5 centimeters wide so I will need around 42 planks to put it one next to each other so I can make a table of three meters and two sides of 60 centimeters and then I'm planning to build inside like a shelf and use this kind of stuff like the the pallets that are not that good to use them as shelves or I can just cut it in small pieces and make them but I don't know yet I will see that after but for now I just need to take all the nails from all the pallets that I need and then start building the actual table Okay, so I woke up two hours ago, but I still feel sleepy. I think I have enough planks now and I'm gonna go sand them. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby up with a slow motion crew. And we up in the clouds when people change, but not us. And we just chillin', kickin' it, kiss by the sun Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon I know she got the good vibes These are the sanded planks They're not old yet I have some broken ones there I'm not gonna use them though But we'll see if these are enough, I don't think so And also, my hand is so freaking red And it feels so tingly It's so weird oh. It's like someone is pushing a lot of needles in my hand all the time. Do not have any problems, use gloves, glasses and earbuds. So as you can see the fridge is 83 centimeters high. So my plan was to make everything 80 centimeters but yeah this is not gonna fit so I have to rethink my plan and change everything. No Okay, so yesterday I didn't do anything basically for uh, this project and today I'm gonna go buy some screws from the store. I am back and I'm ready to build this frame. I had to make it 2 meters 40 because this is the size of the countertop that I found at IKEA. This is how I'm gonna attach the wood, a big piece of wood on the bottom, the planks from the pallets resting on the big piece of wood and three horizontal pieces to attach the planks. I need to cut these lateral planks because they are too long, I'm just gonna measure it to have it the same height as the planks and cut them. I need to arrange the horizontal planks to coincide with the holes that the pallets already have, so I don't need to make other holes. Okay, so this is the front face and now I just have to screw 
all the plants in because I just arranged them like this to see how it's gonna look like but I still have to put the screws in so I have this plank here and I need to cut those lined pieces out because I want to make a separation for the fridge we carried it in the basement because here is where I want the bar to be and this is how it looks with the sides attached. The two big pieces of wood are screwed in place on the bottom. We turn it and I build a frame where the shelf is going to be. As you can see here, it's gonna be a shelf made out of planks and here is the place for the fridge. On both sides I need to attach a plank but it needs to be cut first because they are too wide. Did you think you could keep us Shut the gates for I tried to put the screw straight in and some planks have broke so from now on I will make a hole first and then put the screw in It's been a lot of days since I started this project but today it's finally the day when I'm gonna go and paint the wood. I delayed it for too long but now it's really warm outside. I don't know how I choose this kind of weather. It's 30 something degrees outside Celsius. I hope that in the basement is gonna be cold so let's go and see. I printed what I wanted to have written on my bar and I saw on Pinterest that if you put acetone on the print, the black ink will stay on the wood. So I started to arrange my papers and turn the first one on the other side, put some tape on it to fix it in place and started to apply acetone. But unfortunately it didn't work. I tested it first on another piece of wood and it worked but I think because of the stain that I put on these planks it did not work and I also have this blue line here because of the acetone. I decided to start drawing it myself. It was a bit challenging because the print was on reverse but I did it. Okay, so after a long time I finished this, I'm not happy about this sea here and I wrote honey too, so now I just need to paint it. And now I will start drawing it with a permanent marker that you can find in every store. proud of it I know it's not perfect but I did it myself so I found this aluminium sheet around the house and I will dehydrate it with nail polish or acetone put a layer of primer on it and two layers of matte black paint
Okay, so this is my bar. I do want to put two feet, like one here and one here and a metal bar here just to put your feet on if you want to sit at the bar but yeah this is it for now <laughs>